In the world of unusual entertainment, which I call learned pigs and fireproof women, backstage traditions are as important as those represented on stage. Case in point, the backstage poker game. Okay, it's Anaconda, Jax or Wild. Anaconda? I'll show you a poker game that you'll really like. When I was up in Alaska doing that research, you know, on yeah. Daniel Wildman, the equestrian beekeeper, they played a wonderful kind of poker. I've never seen this before. They take half the deck face up and half the deck face down. I know this sounds crazy. And then you actually shuffle the cards together, and a lot. I mean, you really shuffle them together face up and face down. I mean, it seems like it's an odd thing to do, but you keep doing this. All right, and then you're playing a combination at the poker table. I mean, your combination is basically that of draw and stud. Whatever card you cut to, I'll deal to clout. All right, so that's fine. She'd get this card, which is face up, and you'd get a card, which is face up, and so would Kat and Mike. And I just happen to have a card face down. It'd be face up or face down. Yeah. King and the queen, ten, two spades, possible flush is a king. You would have preferred. I just happen to have a card face down. <laughs> Remember, they could be face up or just face down. They're just filling out the hands. Pair of sevens, fair. I just happen to have a card face down. Yeah. Jack over here, pair of tens, very strong. I got a lot of competition this time in line. I just happen to have a card face down. <laughs> Remember, I started by taking yeah. half the deck face yeah. up and half and the deck face down. That's what's so strange because there are no other face down cards in the deck at all and if you like to win i suppose this isn't a bad hand to have all yeah. four aces oh. <laughs> i guess i take this guys all right Good see you time. later have fun Bye. these exquisite figures were all made by a man who's among the world's master puppeteers bruce schwartz hi Hi. Over the years we've been friends, I've seen you do so many forms of puppetry, but these seem particularly unusual. Can you tell us a little about them? These are wheel puppets. It's kuruma ningyo in Japanese. It's a Japanese form that was developed around the turn of the century. And how do the figures actually operate? The puppeteer sits on this wooden stool with wheels and is able to move about the stage freely. Uh, the puppet is suspended out in front of me on a harness. The head is moved by strings that are attached to my head, I grab the hands and I slip into these shoes which are attached to the puppet's heels. Wonderful. I'm incredibly excited that you're on the show. Thanks. I think I'm on. Tonight, Bruce will demonstrate this rare form of puppetry, showing us the dance of a courtesan who becomes inhabited by a demon spirit.
And now, from a long tradition of lightning calculators like Zara Colburn, Jedediah Buxton, and Johan Zachariah Dace, the person you would have paid to sit next to you in algebra, the woman who holds the Guinness record for multiplying two 13-digit numbers together faster than it's taken me to do this introduction, all the way from Bangalore, India, Shakuntala Devi. We've also brought here friends of mine from UCLA, Professor Don Eldesacker, statistician, and his assistant Chris Ferguson, who will generate random numbers on the computer. Shakuntala is going to start by doing what are known in mathematics as root extractions, which have nothing to do with pulling teeth. <laughs> so we're going to start with uh, a number of, say, six or seven digits, and I'm going to ask for you to generate a number for me now. Uh, this is a nine-digit number. Nine-digit number, okay. Nine digits you're going to do? Cube, Cube root eight, of a nine-digit nine. number. Eight, eight, four, nine. Eight, four, nine. Two, seven, eight. Two, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. The answer to this number is uh, 947. Is it correct? 947 is what we do. 947 is correct. Shall we try another number of uh, nine or ten digits, uh, Don? Uh, ten digits. Ten digit uh, cube root. Take cube root. Cube root. Ten digits. Ten digits. All right, here we go. Two, one, eight. Two, one, eight. Six, eight, seven. Six, eight, just, just a seven. Moment. Just a moment. Uh, yes, that's okay. Okay. Five, yeah. five, five, nine, two. Five, five, nine, two. One, two, nine, two. Eight is the answer. One, two, nine, eight. One, two, nine, eight is correct. That's really impressive. Thank you, thank you so very much. Thank you. So very much. Can I ask you to do a fourth root? Oh, uh, yes, why not? A fourth root is a number multiplied by itself, by itself, Four by times. itself, and by itself again. Right. Four times. So we're going to do a fourth root of a number of how many digits, Don? Eight digits. Of eight digits. Six, eight, five. Six, eight, five. Seven four nine. Seven four nine. Six one. Six one. Remember, Shakuntala has never seen these numbers before. Ninety one is the answer. Ninety one. That is Correct. astounding. Very, 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 very. Ladies and gentlemen, Shakuntala Devi. Coming up, a truly unusual musician and a priceless mechanical marvel.